Howdy everybody, this is Austin and I'm out in Bandera, Texas uh, in early July 2025 and uh, I thought I would come out to this little roadside and uh, show you a few of the invasives we have around here. Most of you might know what it is if you've in, been in Texas very long, I'm certain that you've seen it. Uh, it's a very close relative to our um, cultivated sorghum and that's because it's in the same genus. But this is Johnson grass. So Johnson grass is sorghum halipens, is the scientific name. And uh, it's identifiable by its giant seeds. So you can see it's got really large glossy seeds here. So this one is Johnson grass. So you can see it's got a very large seed head. So it's uh, pyramid shaped. Um, and this one is about two feet tall, just this inflorescence, just this seed head is almost two feet tall. So it's a, a very large uh, grass. Um, it can get up to about eight feet tall in certain conditions. Um, another identifying characteristic, if you look closely at the leaves, you can see this giant white midrib. Um, so there are a few other species with this white midrib, but this one's pretty distinct. Um, it's just very bright and stands out among the green. And then another characteristic, which isn't super prominent on this one, but you can see it a little bit, is this rust spot. Um, so this is just kind of a characteristic of this species, just having these little rust spots. Sometimes they're purple or brown, and they just look like splotches of rust on the leaves. Overall, this is a very bad invader. You can see how much space it's taken up just in this little ditch area. It's also got massive rhizomes. So if I come down here, maybe the soil is loose enough. You can pull this up and here is a rhizome of Johnson grass. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, one of the ways it spreads. So it's got those big robust seeds that get easily dispersed by wildlife, but then these rhizomes are a form of asexual reproduction. Uh, and it's able to just form giant colonies that are all connected by this big root. So a rhizome is just a modified stem that is underground and is able to uh, reproduce itself. It makes clones of itself. So that's uh, what their rhizomes look like. Usually a little purple up at the stem and then pretty white down uh, as you get lower. It's one of the worst invasives in Texas. I've seen it all the way in California, all the way out east to South Carolina. Uh, so it really has just taken over. It's native to Africa, so it's just not supposed to really be here. Uh, but it sure made this its home. So we got to do what we can to try to get rid of it and manage it as much as possible. All right, I'll talk to you all next week.